yo yo guys um this is your guy Lionel I'm here recording this video to give you the feedback about the activity that I gave you on my Facebook page um as you can see it dates Lionel Lokota follow it for more this is um accounting for great times so as we have discussed that um you need to record the transactions in the CPJ and the CFG so you need to know um how to record and which transactions do we record in the cpj and which transactions do we record in the crj well look at um look at the questions here let's work on how to record transactions in the journal below remember that we explained how they work in the previous lessons follow my page there it's Lionel Lakota for more and please don't forget to subscribe my people um don't forget to subscribe and please i will share the link on facebook please subscribe on my youtube channel after subscribing share like and click the notification button so that you will be able to receive more videos it's fine use then you can holler me if you don't understand or need clarity with any of the work in here please don't be afraid to to text me on 0636131642 or send me an email on lokota39 at gmail.com if you don't understand or come to my facebook page online and lookout or you can also ask questions on my youtube channel under the comments right it's fine so first of all let's look at the transactions um first one received 1500 from an old data who was written off this is a debtor who was once returned off because of he didn't want to pay or maybe he wasn't able to pay but they received 1500 from him okay number two bought goods on credit 1200 they went and um buy goods on credit for 1200 and number three the owner decided to fill his car tank and make use of 250 from the business to do so remember the person took money from the business it doesn't matter whether it's his business or whose business but he took money from the business to do things of his own right then number four it's sales when we talk of sales we're talking about like it's when we sell sell goods or sell anything um of 5300 and number five mr Lodava, who was one of the debtors has decided to pay 2300 out of his outstanding balance of 5000 and it is estimated that he will pay his balance of um 2700 in the next two weeks this guy has managed to pay three has managed to pay 2300 of his 5000 outstanding debt and he said that he will be able to pay the remaining which is 2700 in the next two days well yes and number six paid our creditors Levo holdings mapula supermarket sasco um for Lebo it's 400 rent for mapula it's 200 rent and for sasco it's 1500 right now let's go to the channels here look at the journals um i want you to look closely on this example of a cash of six journal look closely first of all you need to have a document under the first column then number two you need to have um a day the date of which the transaction was made you need to have the details of the transactions the folio the analysis of receipts bank the sales cost of sales debtors control discount a lot in the sundry accounts when we talk of the sundry accounts we are referring to the account that does not appear here on the on the cash receipt journal there are the special accounts like they don't appear here on the um on the cash receipt account and just go for the cpj when we talk of the cpj as i've said that we're talking of the money that goes out of the business to others like it goes outside the business so 
and the CPJ also you need to have a document, you need to have a date, name of payee. We are paying under CPJ, so you need to have the name of the payee. So the folio, the bank trading stock, creatures control, discount receive, debtors control, the wages, and the accounts. As I've told you that um these are the special accounts, like we only record special accounts in the central accounts. The accounts that does not appear on the on the example that is given for an EG. Let's just say that um of that transaction of the owner taking 250 to fill his petrol trunk. That account we call it drawings, and drawings doesn't appear here, so we are going to record it under the sundry accounts. So let's go and classify the, the transactions and see in which journals um do they go. First of all, we receive. We received 1,500 from an old data. When we receive money, it goes straight under the, the CRJ. Then number two, bought goods on credit, 1,200. Bought goods on credit has got nothing to do with the cash payment and the cash receipt because we didn't pay money. We just bought goods on credit. So we owe other businesses. We will only record it when we pay the money. Do you understand? right then number three the owner decided to feel as i've told you that it's a cpj we recorded it under the sundry accounts as drawings and number four the sales when we sell we receive cash of 5300 which goes under crg number five mr Dow was out of was one of the debtors and has decided to pay 2.3 this one it's a cash receipt journal it goes under cash receipt journal out of his outstanding balance of 5,000 of which we don't record. And it is estimated that he will pay his balance um, of 2.7 in the next two days. We will only record it when we received it. But now we didn't receive it. We are going to record only 2.3 under the CRJ. And number six, paid our creditors. When we talk of paying, we are referring to the CPJ. That's why under the CPJ we have got the name of the payee, the people that you are paying. So the name of the payee, it will be Lego Holdings, Mapula Supermarket and Sasco. And we are going to record the amounts. So yeah, that is what I wanted you to know. And please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel as said um, at the beginning of this video. And please answer the questions where you don't ask. Um, yeah, thanks for your time and you're the best guys um please don't forget to sanitize and please wear masks because you are going to pay for what you didn't do have a good day